sweet. So we got like shorter ones and then like, you know, taller ones this is like four feet right here. As you can see, all hard. Still got the puddles that are, you know, in the deeper pockets. This is our massive backyard pond we dug. Let's just watch all these shrimp go right in. Think about just having like a bunch of those clownfish. Hey, buddy. They have so many fish. All right, which one should we get? Which one? What is going on, Carreros? Welcome back to another video. I have not uploaded in about three days due to many, many reasons. You know, I post every other day. I haven't seen you guys in a little bit. So hello there, Carreros. Welcome back uh, to every other day again. Every once in a while, you need a little break. And on that break, I'm always still working. I'm drenched in sweat right now. My main goal and stresses that I have with this property is just getting all this done. Finally, we have not had rain. So it's kind of dry in here, which means we can get started on all of this. I really want to get this done. Let's actually go over there. It's looking amazing. It is looking good. The yard is just an absolute wreck. I've shown you all this multiple times. I just can't wait to finish it. This is day three with no rain, so we're looking pretty solid. As you can see, all hard. Still got the puddles that are, you know, in the deeper pockets, but not bad. He's gonna come over here and get some of this done as soon as he can. He's also a working man as well. So things will get done here eventually. I just wanted to update you guys on this, what's going on over here. It's looking good. This is our massive backyard palm we dug. It'll be a little bit higher than this. This is real deep. This is probably about like nine feet. We're gonna build a dock out here, you know, nice fountain, do some cool stuff in there. Some, some really cool stuff. This will all get flattened out as best as we can. This fence will get connected right here there'll be a little gate right here and all this will be one enclosure with a pond in it I've asked you guys a couple times on what I should get for this enclosure behind me here and so far a lot of you guys are saying cows baby cows look how cute that thing is that, that could be that could be a cool animal so really a whole lot of stressing has went on in the last three days I'm just trying to get this project done and with this rain it's nearly impossible. Once that's done though, I'll be able to get my focus back on on many things. Yes, I finally got my hair chopped off, by the way. It's gonna have to grow a little bit, but it's nice to be all freshened up. Once all these guys get their house done, think about it now. The hog's finished, that enclosure's all finished. Get sod for it, make it nice. This is gonna be, I'm talking way ahead. I just wanna tell you guys the rundown. Then the tortoise enclosure. I have not even got time to put these plants into the ground yet. All the hibiscus is like 10 of them right there, and all these little brushes are spread out. This itself is a project I've said I was gonna do it multiple times. I just need some friends to help me out with that So once I get some friends over you'll see videos on getting that enclosure done. We'll probably finish it all in one video Now the good thing is these enclosures are done We could get something for the ducks right there built which we probably will eventually but you see all the ducks They're happy as can be our two rescue pigs are still chilling right here You can see the little made a little hole right there. They've absolutely destroyed my grass, but I think it looks good Oh you evil little thing but yes, this enclosure is done and my dock is still floating to all you guys who didn't believe in my floating dock It's still floating. Yeah, and of course without the rain. It's beautiful out here It's all you know, it's not mucky all these pigs are good as well. Of course Of course I do their waters and they always knock it out before it fills up, but yes all these little pigs have this giant, giant enclosure. You can see Lady May's out there eating right now as well. That enclosure's done and so is the goat enclosure. So no worries on getting everything done over here because it's all done already. They all have permanent houses ready for hurricanes, although that season just passed. Bottom line is they're set. Now to the biggest thing, the patio where everything is pretty much. I just fed all these guys, all the turtles. As you can see, they haven't got to some of their food. There's a little bit left, but this is the plan. This little pool pond behind me here, this one and the black tub behind that, I'm gonna move over to this side. Those two are gonna be right here. All the fish from that pool pond are going into our fiberglass pond that I mentioned. We went shopping for a couple, I think like probably a month ago. Sweet! So we got like shorter ones and then like, you know, taller ones this is like four feet right here. Down in and it's real smooth. The outside's got this like the fiberglass texture, but this side's all smooth. That's like know. the ones we have at the shop. Yeah, this is literally the exact ones. This is where you get them. These are made for like coral. They grow coral in them. 400 different sizes. Look at the size of this one. This is the mold of uh, probably, what is it? These were like, we looked it up. I think it was like 11,000 for something like this. Yeah. They built one, sent me pictures, and it was awesome. And I told them that's got to be the exact one I want. That pond will go right here. It'll be that whole side right here. From that sliding door right there all the way to here. So think about how big that palm will be. Huge. And it'll come out to like right here. 
So it's all this. These pool ponds, I mean, if anyone wants pool ponds, let me know. So if you could try to picture it, we got the turtle ponds over there and the big one, all my fish are going into one pool pond right here because it'll be big. <sighs> Stressful. Look at how cute these little turtles are. It's not sunny out right now, so it kind of looks like the water's a bit dirty, but I promise the water's clear. I've come to the conclusion where these turtle ponds get so dirty so fast because, I mean, they're turtles. It's just natural at that point. I like it when it looks natural like this. The water's clean. Look at how clear that is. That's all that matters. Let's see what our little African sign neck's doing. Oh! Hello. Got the big snapping turtles in here. And our African side neck and our pink belly. It's probably down in there. But our snapping turtle is hanging out right now. Now that you have an idea on the backyard patio and all the work that's got to get done in the backyard. Whoa. Hello, fish. Got all that off my chest. Had to just tell you guys all that. I'll pick up the camera tomorrow when we do exactly what the title and thumbnail of this video says. Enjoy. Look at that thing. It looks fake. There's another one right here. Oh my gosh, those things are so creepy looking. See, that's not for me. No bueno. Oh yeah. Now you know, like one of the first things that I go to every time I come here is the salt water section. I love this section because I can't wait to get mine. The 160 gallon in the wall, we're gonna make that just like this. Obviously, stuff like that takes time because you can't just throw coral into a saltwater tank. Think about just having like a bunch of those clownfish. So many different little guys. And these triggers are beautiful. He's hiding from me. I'm not kidding you. I swear, fish are actually camera shy. Like, I've filmed fish. The second they see the camera, they're like, whoop, right back into their hole. Another, what the heck is that thing? It's got arms. It's doing push-ups. Gets up to, well, this one in particular. Not Maybe not that one, but 70 pounds. And they're good eating. Look at these fish. They just never get old. Look at these suckers. Look at that. See, like, imagine, like, fish that color just spread out like that just oh lord there's the saltwater beta fish is that thing crazy so he'll actually back up to his prey prey will think that little dot on his tail is his face he'll switch around and grab the prey with his mouth crazy crazy fish right there saltwater beta marine beta is what it's called it's a hundred dollars bunch of damsels down here hello that's a cool looking fish here's the massive freshwater tank they've always got back here let go. African cichlids. Oh, look at that thing. There's the name of it. 45 buckaroos for that like toad looking thing in there. So I don't mess with a couple things in this world. One of those things being spiders. I'm not the fan. Just not a fan. Just not gonna do it. Nope, never. Look at that. And I know some of you watching have tarantulas. Nothing against it, but I give you props because I'm terrified. Turtles everywhere. Baby turtles. We just came here and did a video. I'm getting more turtles for my pool pond. Today's video is not on that. We are getting another of something though, and that is an axolotl. I did mention that I didn't want to get another axolotl for my tank, but at this point I feel like my axolotl's lonely. I'm not even kidding, I literally feel like he's lonely. I'll just look at him and it's just, he's like, get me a friend. So I'm here to get him a friend. This is what an axolotl is right here. As you can see, there's a lot of them. I'm just kidding. Uh, this is an axolotl. Look at him, right there. Two of them left. Perfect size, too. So we're gonna do one of the axolotls. <gasps> Kylie Jenner fish right here. Hey, buddy. What's going on? They have so many fish. Look at that, a full row. All right, which one should we get? Which one? That one or that one? Eeny, meeny, money, moe, catch a take a bath, don't eat me home, don't get my mom says you take the very best one. And we are it. Okay, it's this one. A little live shrimp in there with them. I'm gonna get, uh, I didn't know they ate live shrimp like that. I'm gonna get a dozen ghost shrimp along with our axolotl and that way they can feast on them. And maybe then the shrimp will have babies and then they'll eat the babies. Look at the colors on that sucker. Sweet. And then our shrimp are getting picked right now. They gave me a lot more than a dozen shrimp, which is what I bought, but they gave me a lot more. So got a bunch of shrimp for the tank, which they'll be feeding on and our new axolotl. I'll see you in about three seconds. Three, two, one. Back home in the fish tank room. Whoa, the exposure. Flower horn tank looks good. The lights are off right now. The lights do their own thing. I don't touch them. They usually go on and off at the right time. We got the what's going to be a saltwater tank. This is all it right here. As you can see, 160 gallon in the wall. Look at that beast. So excited for that, by the way. And then our axolotl tank. This is it. And I have two hides because I used to have 
two axolotls in here until the power outage happened and then I lost pretty much everything I had in this room. Anyway, this is the axolotl tank. I have well water here so it kind of stains the tank at its lowest point. I gotta literally like scrub that off. You can see it all up here too. Doesn't harm the fish, doesn't harm the axolotl. Obviously it's right down there, it's kind of blurry but you can see them down there. The water is actually as hot as it's ever been. It's 71 right now, 71 degrees which is not too bad, as long as it doesn't go over 75 will be good, but I like to keep it even lower than that. So right now, with how hot it is outside, I gotta close this window. I'm not even kidding, the heat from the sun. I'll leave it open while I'm filming, but I'll close it before I leave this room. The heat from the sun actually heats up this room, like I could feel it myself. Let's get our new axolotl, absolutely beautiful, into the tank, so pretty. We're gonna put them right here. And our other axolotl's name is solely the axolotl. I hate this stuff. Watch, it comes right off though. Isn't that so weird? It's like the iron from the well water. So what are we gonna name this guy? Let me know down in the comments down below what you think we should name this axolotl. Drop it down, comments down below. All right, and then we also got our shrimp. Oh my gosh, okay. Some of them are pregnant actually. But I got a bunch of little ghost shrimp. I asked them for a dozen, it looks like this. A little bit more than even, looks like there's a little more than a dozen actually, but yes. Got our ghost shrimp, got our ghost shrimp as well, we're gonna put those in. And now, let them both acclimate. You know what's crazy is about a couple months ago, I mean when I first made this tank, even with the old axolotls, there were these minnows, the mosquito. They were so tiny, they were actually feeders for the axolotls, because the axolotls, for some reason, my old axolotl loved little fish. But these guys made it through, and they lived, and they're huge now. They're huge! And they call these fish mosquito fish. I got a bunch of them in my front pond. Look at them all. I mean, there's so many, along with our baby cichlids that grew up. If you look closely, like right there, that's a baby Mayan cichlid. And then a bunch of tilapia. Everything else other than the baby Midases we got that one day have been eaten by blue heron. Which is a big bird. Chill, buddy. I got music playing for you and everything. Without further ado, our tank right here. By the way, this is like 30 gallons, I believe. 30 gallon tank is about to get another axolotl. Ready? Let's do it. I know it might have seemed quick on camera, but that's what editing does. It's been about 10 minutes. I'm gonna put these guys down here. These are the shrimp. I only keep this light on like certain times of the day. I'll turn it off now. There's one of the hides, and there is the switch stop it cameras, and there is the other one right there. So you get two hides to go pick from, and they don't fight over a hide. And the anchor. Let's get this sucker in. Ah, right, let's do the shrimp first. Let's just watch all these shrimp go right in. There they go. See ya, buddies. Oh, they're just spread out everywhere. Make sure we got them all out of the bag. Yep, got them all. Look at all the ghost shrimp in here now. And I guarantee you these suckers are gonna have babies, these little shrimp. Some of them already have babies, like this guy. See that little brown stuff on his stomach? Now, as simple as this, we're literally just gonna open this bag and pour out the water. I know you're not supposed to do that typically when it's from like Petco and PetSmart. I know Mark personally and I know dang right he takes care of his fish and his water quality. So I just pour the water in every time I get something from Mark. Same with Predatory. No worries there. Let's see, ready? Go buddy. Go. There you go. Woo! Look at him. Oh my god, is he eating? He ate already. They were all just surrounding him and he came up and just... There's both of them. Mine is the one in the front, the big one and that's the other one in the back. They're both literally sitting right next to each other right now in a very awkward position. And you know, I mentioned in one of my last videos that the angelfish had eggs. I took the video because I didn't want you guys not to believe me. I was so mad. Of course, the lobster, the crayfish in here, the blue one, ate them all right off the glass. Right off the glass. Killed all my baby angelfish eggs. It only takes seven days for these things to hatch and the crawfish just couldn't lay off of them for seven days. Roll the clip. No, why? I literally just witnessed him sitting there and then he went back down. You son of a- And this is where all the eggs were. As you can see, I didn't clean the glass right around them and they're all gone. They'll have more though. It's not the last time they'll have them. Just sucks because, you know, they were gonna have babies. Thank y'all so much for watching. We got another axolotl. Make sure you name it down below. Go watch my new vlog video. I opened up a Pokemon box, a booster box. A little side hobby I got. Watch it!
my vlog channel is going to have all sorts of different content on there. You know, I'll be posting here every other day and there whenever I make some random video that doesn't relate to what I normally film here. Thank you so much. Go subscribe to that. Subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Like just how pretty those little dots all over him are. I have an addiction to axolotls, I love them.